want to show you the latest watches and warnings first that affect our area. This is from the National Weather Service in Raleigh. You can see a tropical storm watch in effect from Tarboro all the way down into Rayford now. Remember, a watch means we're watching the situation. Doesn't mean it will happen, but it means the possibility is there to see 39 to 73 mile an hour winds sometime in the next 48 hours. Now from Blade and Robinson down toward Lumberton into Sampson, Wayne, and then points east out toward Greenville, we have a hurricane watch. That means that within the next 48 hours, there's a chance we could see hurricane force winds 74 miles an hour or higher. So those are the latest watches. I expect some of those to expand as we go through the day from the National Weather Service. Let's show you what's going on as far as uh, the latest uh, plot on this hurricane. Step off and show you what's going on. Here's Florence, the latest satellite picture now showing that well-defined eyes is pushing off to the north and to the west, located about 900 miles east southeast of Cape Lookout. And the latest from the National Hurricane Center showing this still as a category four. I know some people have been tweeting out. I've seen a couple of people who've asked me, is this a category five? No, it is a four. Maximum sustained winds holding at 130. Gusts are down five miles an hour to 160. It is moving west northwest at 16 miles an hour. So let's show you the plot of this storm. And as it works through the next couple of days, it will work off to the north and to the west. Uh, we'll stop this right around landfall. And you can see possible landfall anywhere in this line on Friday morning, I think anytime between midnight Thursday night into Friday and Friday 8 a.m. It could end up anywhere in this region, so this really hasn't changed that much. It's expanded a little bit to the south, but otherwise uh, that line continues to be around a four or even three. It may weaken down to around 120 miles an hour. That's still a significant storm and there still will be changes in this path. Now here's the biggest change. It, the National Hurricane Center curves this back to the south a little bit, and this would be by Sunday. What, what bothers me about this whole thing is it goes from here to here over two days. That's a slow moving storm that will put down a lot of rainfall. And if we look at, we'll look at the rainfall totals in just a moment. Here's the latest forecast models. The spaghetti plot keeps everything nice and tight through Thursday afternoon. All the models pretty much in agreement. But watch what happens as we go into Friday. As soon as this interacts with land, the models, some of them keep it out to sea. Some of them pull it back to the west. It gets really wonky with all the models kind of going all over the place. So that's why I think the National Hurricane Center just kind of went with the movement of the storm. But even that slow movement could put down heavy rainfall. Now these are updated totals from the Weather Prediction Center. Notice in Raleigh, 5 to 10 inch category, mainly 7 to 10 inch in this orange area going toward the yellow area. Back here toward the 5 inch category of rain possible. This is through Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. Look what happens when you get onto this yellow area. 10 to 15 inches of rain into this yellow area as possible, and that does include parts of Wayne County. And as you get out toward Greenville and down toward the coast, they could see up to 20 inches of rainfall. Very heavy rainfall with a slow moving storm. So wind's going to be a problem, but I think the bigger threat will be flooding. We'll talk about some of that threat assessment, what we're looking for as we get closer to this. I still think we have a couple of days of dry weather, and in the next two days, we could see some thunderstorms that have nothing to do with Florence.